Hey. Hello. Hello. I'm Annie. I'm Christina. This is Christina. That's who I am. Not who she is. So for our Choose Acceptance project today, we are going to do a painting project that Christina has done for lots 27 of years. years. 27 years with kids of all ages. So this is an activity I use at the beginning of the year to point out just how similar we all are underneath the differences that we think we have between us. And this is a symbolic activity. So for young kids, I talk about symbolism, and I use the word symbolism. Symbolism means something stands for something else. The American flag stands for the United States, but it's not actually the United States. It's a symbol mm -hmm. for the United States. Absolutely. How was that? That was beautiful. Um, with really young kids, I simply explained it as something small that means something big. For this activity, we have four colors of paint. And we have a painting surface, which in this case is going to be just regular paper, because I'm not doing a whole class, I'm just doing us. And paintbrushes. <laughs> I should say, I've heard about this, but I've never seen Christina do it. So I'm kind of excited. She's very excited. I'm very excited. I don't know why. So we have white paint. Now, white paint symbolizes our bones, our skeleton. So each of us has a skeletal structure upon which the rest of us is built. So all of us have a skeleton, and it's symbolized by the white paint. Because bones are kind of white. At least until they decay. I've seen them, That's then they're black. black. It's depressing. Don't do that. <laughs> All of us have muscles attached to our bones that help us move around. The yellow paint symbolizes our muscles. Are our muscles really yellow? No, they aren't. But if I use the colors that things really were, we'd all just kind of be red. We all have blood, which carries food and oxygen to our various muscles and, and organs and structures inside our body and carries yucky stuff out and then refreshes again. And the red is symbolizes our blood, which is a very, you know, these two excellent symbolism because they're accurate. You can you have tell they're accurate. Now we have all three of those. Every single person on this earth and arguably a whole lot of other creatures have bones, muscles, and blood. The one place we differ is in uh, um, pigment. Now the pigment in our skin, the melanin, is what's in our skin to protect us from the sun. And this goes back to where our previous ancestors were from. For people who were from places that didn't get much sun, they don't need very much of this because they don't have to have much protection from the sun. There's not a lot of sun shining. But if you're from somewhere near the equator, in really warm places where there's a whole lot of sun, you're going to need much more of this. So think of it as our skin's sunblock. And we all have it but just different amounts. So let's begin. I'm going to start with, what was this again? Bone, skeletal structure. She's my bandwagon. Now we're going to put, you know, our bones can be quite heavy, so I'm going to put the same amount, as close as possible, on here. So we all have bones. I'm going to do four for now. We all have Muscles, or as I like to call them, muscles. Um, I'm going to put a little less of this because um, we, eh, eh, there we go. And I might have to adjust it a little bit because our, our bones are quite numerous and heavy. So we might put a little more of that. There we go. Don't they kind of look like uh, sunny side up eggs right now? We're Just, all made of eggs. We're all made Ooh. of eggs. Ooh, some of us mm. do have eggs. Well, we're not going to go there. But we're not going to go there. Different, different video. Okay, we all have blood, and I'm going to add some of that. So, so far we all have kind of the same stuff. Now we mix these up. And they should all come out, you know, pretty much the same kind of Thousand Island dressing peachy color. <laughs> One of the things for any new teachers out there who might be doing this, new camp counselors, anybody who's doing this, I really strongly encourage do it the night before, or the couple days before, Write down a few notes on a note card or the back of a cereal box or whatever you've got handy. Preparation is the key in making things like this work. What yeah. we all have are the bones, the muscles, and the blood. We all share that. And as I said before, the only thing that differs us in terms of what we're made of is pigment. Now, I do this lesson to point out that um, not only that we share so many things that are the same, I also point out to show that um, every shade we make is, is beautiful, and I go on to do a project that extends up through what would be open house, where now the kids use the color 
that best matches them, and it's not going to be perfect, and I talk about this. I could make a, a thousand different shades, and it might not be exactly, exactly, because this is paint, and you are cells, and um, <laughs> it's really hard to make the two exactly the same. Do the one that matches best, and then they're going to paint their from here up, and an outline of a head and a neck and shoulders, and then we add, with different art projects, hair made of different things, and cut out magazine facial, facial features, or they make facial features, each one is different. By the end of it, what they have is a life-size portion of, portion, I can't talk, portion of them, and I stick it to their chair at their desk, and when the parents come in for open house, there they all are sitting. That's really cool, because I didn't know she did all that. I do all that. I want her to do one of me. I could do one of me. Do one of me. Oh, I can't do it right now, because oh. I haven't added a pigment yet. Another thing. As you move down towards equator, um, they're going to need a little more, because there's more sun, or the sun is shining longer. And then you're going to go even kind of like middle of the United States, um, right through South America. South America. When you get to the equatorial regions, they're going to have a lot more of this for the one and only reason that their families come from places that have a lot of sunshine. They need a lot more sun protection. So I'm going to mix this now. Now, this is the one for the countries that don't have a lot of sun. And you notice it basically just disappears. Not a whole lot has changed in here. Okay, So that's a little darker. Now this one is going to get a little darker. Remember, these tend to dry a little lighter too, so I could just get all into doing this. Circles, <laughs> circles, and circles. And I would say don't be afraid to add more colors once you're done really reinforcing the symbolism here and the lesson involved. Um, if if a child really seems upset that their you know their skin color is really not fully represented, don't be afraid to make another one or add to it. The point is to realize that we're all made out of the same building blocks. And the things that make us different, like skin color, um, are something we need to be aware of. It does point to our ancestry, but really we're made out of the same stuff. I never want to dismiss the differences between us. That's what makes uh, our world and human culture rich and exciting and uh, diverse, sparks our curiosity about each other. Um, but at the same time, we've got to realize that on a very basic level, we're all the same. We're working on um, inspiring others to choose acceptance. And at one end is the ability to accept the differences in others without feeling the need to agree with them or even sometimes really understand everything about them, but just accept them as people who are worthy of your respect, worthy of attention. And at the other end, at the opposite end, where an awful lot of us sometimes fall short and the place where a lot of us begin is at the fear end. And when we approach things with fear, something like this is a big problem because we're afraid of it. And this exercise shows you that it's not a problem. It's the difference of one chemical in our bodies. Just one. Just one. Perfection is not a word that Christina and I believe in, in terms of choosing acceptance, but it's a goal. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. We encourage you to choose acceptance for yourself so that you can reinforce and guide young people and everyone in your lives to choose acceptance. Well said. Thank you. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. If you have ideas for other activities that we could do to help others choose acceptance, we would love to hear about those as well in the comments below. And Anything there's, else we there's very know? few things I'm not willing to do and throw on YouTube. She means that. She'll do anything. And we will be doing more activities like this for different age groups and also for eight, all ages because we all need to learn and practice choosing and acceptance. acceptance. But not until I wash the paint off. I still accept you on that one. Yeah. <laughs>